yeah, we're talking about basketball games. It's going to feel like baseball season out <laughs> there right. by the week. By the next couple of days, it's going to feel more like May or June than February. We've got temperatures headed into the 70s tomorrow, and they'll stay there through Wednesday. A couple of records may fall. Let's get right into it. Again, one of the things we were talking about at the top of the show is the fog. That's kind of an unintended problem with the warmth. You've got the fog forming, and it's going to be with us for the next couple of nights, mainly overnight as the ground cools and the warm air flows over top of it. It is definitely getting foggy. You can see right now as we look live on Scott Cam 3 out towards Center City, the tops of the buildings completely shrouded in fog. And definitely if you're heading out tonight or early tomorrow morning on your morning commute, take it slow. The uh, taillights of the car in front of you can very much come up on you quickly in conditions like this. We'll take you up quickly to Broadheadsville and you can see the fog is in place up that way as well. You can see it reflected in the street lamp there. It's currently 36 degrees. So again, the pattern shows the warm front to the north, cold front back to the west, and the cold air getting locked up behind this front. It's not getting back in here anytime time soon. We're talking about temperatures 20 to 30 degrees above average for the next couple of days here. Looking at clear skies for now, we've got the showers moving away. Skies clear, but you're not able to really see the skies clear because the fog keeps you from seeing much of anything at all. Temperatures holding steady or slightly rising overnight. It's 48 in the city, 50 in Millville, 55 in Dover, and winds are coming in out of the south and west. So you can see this big bubble of warmth. You can see where the cold front is as well. That pretty distinct line there across the plains in the Midwest, but right now we're seeing 60s in Columbus, Nashville, Atlanta, St. Louis, and that's the air that's headed our way tomorrow and into Wednesday. Take a look at future visibilities. Overnight, we're going to see visibility near zero. Dense fog just socked in all night long, even into the first part of your commute tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Look at that fog. It is going to be pretty dangerous out there for travelers tomorrow morning. Take it slow and need to leave extra time. I know you don't want to wake up earlier than you have to, but you may want to leave a little early tomorrow the fog will slow you down. It clears out by midday. The sun comes out and temperatures are off to the races tomorrow. 71. The record is 70 from 1939. 75 is the forecast high on Wednesday. The record is 72. Tomorrow's dry morning fog then afternoon sun, but the front does approach Wednesday. That's our next chance for a shower Wednesday afternoon and rain chances then increase as colder air returns late in the week Thursday and Friday. So tonight we drop down to a low temperature pretty much where we are right now 49 degrees temps actually gradually rising overnight and tomorrow is a warm day 71 degrees warmest since early November Wednesday 75 breaking that next record it's cooler Thursday and Friday with the chance for rain the weekend is not all that cold but it's also not all that nice. We'll have rain chances both Saturday and Sunday. So we got to kind of pay the piper a little bit mm -hmm. when you get a 75 degree day in February. But enjoy the but 75, you get a 75 degree, degree day. <laughs> I exactly. love the 70s. Yeah. <laughs>